Now to an update on Washington Middle School in Green Bay. In June, a highly respected teacher resigned during her emotional testimony in front of the school board, telling members students left her fearing for her safety after both verbal and physical abuse. Tonight, the board was presented with a set of consequences for particular behavior from students. The hope being they can stop violent and abusive behaviors at schools like Washington. NBC 26's Eric Crest was at tonight's meeting. He joins us now with new details. The Green Bay Area Public School District was just presented with a behavioral response chart. It's a detailed list of what actions from students would warrant a particular consequence. Each school has their own sort of flavor of how they do discipline, but it, it still has to tie back to that document. So it, there has to be consistency with how we approach certain behaviors in schools. Turns out schools across Green Bay have been doling out different consequences for similar inappropriate actions. The new behavioral response chart could help fix that. So I think this document is really going to be helpful in that so that we as a district can, can really um, be clear on what our expectations are. If, if everyone is responding the same to certain behaviors, then then everybody knows what to expect. The students know what to expect and the staff knows what to expect. And just because most inappropriate behaviors now have a detailed consequence in writing, well, those consequences still have to be enforced. The idea of, of all of this is to help all of our students understand how to behave in, in group settings and with each other. Really it's the implementation of what is on that paper and, and what the intent is and I think that's where we where that, um, that work with our district um, staff and our administrators and our staff, that's where it's going to come in, having those conversations around that and saying that, yes, we want to hold students accountable. We want to make sure that our schools are safe. Keeping you connected in Green Bay, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26.